my kitchen. I'm Sugar with Sugar the Attic Homestead. I really enjoyed and the family really enjoyed those that meatball mixture with the corn the other day. So what I'm going to do is put a little twist on it. I have some diced onion that I diced in my professional di uh, vegetable cutter. I'm going to put this, it's about a cup and a half. I'm going to put this in a frying pan that I made bacon in. And I'm going to stir this around. The frying pan is already hot. I'm going to stir this around a little bit. Put it on a medium heat. I'm going to caramelize these onions. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the corn ground beef mixture. I made some more the ground beef corn mixture into the frying pan with these onions. Now this will be also put with some shredded cabbage. So let's get this going and I'll bring you right back. The onions are browning nicely and now what I'm going to do is put in the rest of this beef corn mixture. I made some a new batch I'm going to put this in, turn the heat up, and brown that meat with the onions, with the diced onions. And the last ingredient is going to be, it's a coleslaw, uh, classic coleslaw mix. It's shredded cabbage. So let's get this browned up and I'll bring you right back. Time for the last ingredient. This is going to be some shredded cabbage. It's a coleslaw mix. And I'm going to put a couple of big handfuls of this in here. And it will cook down quickly, but it'll add a lot of vegetables to this dish. Oh, two and a half handfuls, just for extra measure. It'll cook down quickly because there's not much to cabbage, and it's mostly water. So let me stir this up, cook it down, and I'll bring you right back. I'm so glad you stuck around my kitchen. I know that there are plenty of muffins. Grab one, have some hot tea, have coffee, uh, maybe a bottle of water. So this is done. You can also put this over any type of uh, pasta or rice. You can put it in a bowl. You don't have to put it over anything. Again, I'm trying to use everything that we have in our refrigerator, freezer, pantry, use up leftovers, and make sure that nothing goes to waste, but not have the same old dish and meal to get rid of the leftovers. I want to make something different, take the basic ingredients, add some things, and also this does not have any seasoning in it. It has a little pepper, but that's it. You can add your own seasoning. You can make it into an Asian with soy sauce, uh, barbecue. You can put hot sauce on there. You decide what you want to do with this. This would be great in a burrito for filling or tacos even. I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me in my kitchen. If you've ever made this dish before, it's kind of a clean out the fridge dish. Let me know in the comments what you put in yours and how you cooked it. Did you cook it in the oven as a casserole or on the stove? Don't forget to stop by, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Maybe this will give them some ideas on what to do with all the things in that fridge that are just sitting around. Thank you again for stopping by my kitchen.